David Barber in Kokomo, Indiana. Yep, Kokomo. <laughs> that sounds like a breakfast cereal. I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> he writes to, to me and he says, Hey, Paul, what do you mean? What do you mean when you refer to speakers as being resolving? Mm hmm. We do use that term a lot, David. And so many of these terms that we use, I just kind of take for granted that everybody understands what that means. And so thank you for that question because clearly everybody doesn't know what it means and it means different things to different people. So a resolving speaker can resolve differences between different areas of music. So it's the resolution of differences. So for example, these speaker systems are highly resolving and people who hear them for the first time are kind of shocked. They're shocked because they had never heard, well, if we, if we play Pink Floyd, uh, it's one of the ones people always ask for here, uh, Welcome to the Machine. They'd never heard Oh gosh, where, you know, where, where they're filling up the tires, psh, 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 and the opening of that thing, and the synthesizer, and the separation. I mean, most people have never, ever heard that. They go back and they listen, and they go, oh yeah, there it is, but they didn't hear it. Why? Well, because these speakers resolve the differences in instruments, in voices, in tonalities, in all manner of differences that most other speaker systems and most other systems don't resolve. So here's another example. As I said, people tend to get a little upset when they come in here because perhaps in their head they had a favorite track, and most people do. So we use Cobuzz, which is a streaming service, and people will listen, you know, I'll play them my demo tracks and they're like, wow, 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 never heard anything like that. Really great. Let me put on mine. And they put on theirs and like, ugh. Or, I mean, sometimes they're thrilled and sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, I'm adding that to the playlist. But more often than not, what sounded good to them doesn't sound so good here. And why? Well, all of a sudden they're hearing the lack of something in the recording because the resolving power of the system shows everything. It's like ripping your clothes off, like here it is. This is, you know, um, well, let's not talk about that. <laughs> you don't want to see that. So that's, that's basically in a nutshell what the re resolving power of a system, and the better the systems get, the more resolution it has. Maybe uh, photography is a good way to also look at that. If I have a highly resolving camera, then you see everything that's going on. If, it's a, if, if you're shooting this room or if you're shooting outside with, let's say, it's fall, right? So here's all these fall leaves on the ground and I take a picture with my, with my Leica and I take a picture with my Kodak Brownie to, to make an extreme, the Leica, when you zoom in, is going to have every leaf is going to be detailed and I can see the, the forest moss and all of those, all that resolution is there. When I look at the brownie, it's like, mm, things aren't as resolved. I can't see the details anymore. It's just, it's pleasant, but I can't see it all. That's what a resolving speaker does in the same way. I hope that answered your question. All right, thanks for asking. Talk to you tomorrow.